good afternoon, evening now, isn't it? Half past five ish. I'll try and keep this one short. I don't think you can see me, so hello. Um, this is just going to be a, I'll say, a quick build or live build. It's just, I'm not going to try and keep it going as long as I'd like to. Well, I might do, I don't know. see how we go. But um, what I'm doing now, painted all my road wheels for the tank in acrylic. Now, this one, I'm going to do a tester with matte black, which is enamel 33. Because um, I haven't got any um, Tamiya colour yet. I'm just rushing in. I do. Just that part. So I'm doing it. But today I've been playing with ISM. Trying to work things out. And thanks to Cohen, he put a how to video on. And um, that was all very good. And it worked. But like he said, you can't seem to make the logo. Oh boy, you can see it on my laptop. I've got another one. Oh yeah, have that there as well. You can't make the, um, the one on the screen. I can't see how to make it bigger. If you go on the ISM channel and watch their videos or watch their videos on YouTube um, their logo is about the right size that's what you like but I've got no idea how to do that I mean I don't really have much clue with computers anyway and it was the other day a friend come round they're just out of the blue and on the off chance I asked them um, if I knew what copy and paste was, he thought I was joking. I've never done it, so I'll, I'll never know. So, um, he spent about five minutes trying to show me copy and paste. There's a bit there, I don't know what that. So, I've worked that one out now. Done also you have to do that to upload a video to ISM so I've worked that out which was also another how to video from Cohen uh, on his uh, how to which is already in his videos so that was helpful it feels like that wheel was going to fall off Um, so yeah, I've been playing with that, and now what I'm trying to do, I haven't worked out yet, is I think at the end of your video, you can have the logo at the end, which is a haven for all types of modellers everywhere, which is, you know, I thought that would be a nice touch. If I can have that up at the end. Um, what I've been doing the last few days, what I do when I've finished here, I'll show right at the end. I've got me um to the right of you, you can't see it, I've got me MIG. I've been masking and painting little bits to get that almost to a point where I can gloss coat it ready for transfers or decals um, so yeah but I'm actually quite pleased with the way that's come out and early wrong didn't have a blemish with it but a little mishap but it put a little scratch in the canopy but, um, so I looked through some videos and you can actually um, polished canopies which I thought was handy 
because it's come up quite nice. I don't know if you can see that. That's one bit. Looks a bit shiny, but it's wet. There's something else I've done today because the paint on the red arrow seems to be nice and hard. I've uh, I haven't repainted it yet, but there's a couple of little gaps. Oh, I thought I know the edge. Couple of little gaps, so I've used my perfect plastic putty to fill them in, and uh, did a because I sprayed that in acrylic aerosol acrylic. I've done a tester on one of the rear stabilizers in the gloss red Humbrol 19. Which is enamel. Although there's a couple of little bits on it, I'm just waiting for that to dry now. It was about two, three hours ago I did that. And I've just looked at it and it's still sticky. I'm not sure if it should still be sticky or if it's slowly eating its way into the um, acrylic. So we shall find out. I should check that tomorrow, see if it's pickled up horribly or not. That looks alright, doesn't it? That's alright. That's one half done, got to do the other half in another... Ah, dear, oh dear. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19, 21. But I'm only doing this one, then I'm going to... I do a bit of the old sprue stuff because I need to get cracking with this but it's I can't remember who it was I think it was either Grim Jim or Gavo 909 I said that um, a tank you can have a tank built pretty much as soon as you started at the time it is painting it takes longer to paint and it's right you would get all the detail correct or get the neatest job possible it's going to take a fair old while So I just want to do this one as a tester. I'll let that dry overnight and see how it is in the morning. Um, and if that's all good, I know I can carry on. I'm scared of going over the edge and I haven't got to the edge at all. So that's better. done first so yeah I think I spent most of my time today working out ISM and how to operate a computer uh, other than that nothing else has been happening as such why does it do that? I hate it when it does that. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow won't be about so much because my daughter, probably about nine months ago, I think she decided they're going to make me a granddad, and she's due. So uh, I'm just waiting for a phone call saying you're a granddad. 
at 42 years old. I don't know. But still, at least it makes me a, a younger, more active granddad, I suppose. So we'll uh, see how that goes. So, as long as she gets through it all right. So I've got to, I'd imagine she's a wee bit scared. That's off the giving birth part, I suppose. The pain. Because us blokes can't imagine how much pain it is, I suppose. But, um... I'm just dribbling on, aren't I? Ooh, I don't know. That's good. That's good. Now I can see edges I'm missing, but like I say, this is a this is a tester to see if it's going to react. With um, the acrylic, but what I'm going to do in a minute, just do tidy this edge up. I shall um, get on with the rear panel on the tank because I've never unmasked, well not unmasked, the blue tack I put on on the last. I think it was the number three update or number four, number three because number four was a squirting paint all over the place. But still, I got a sense of humour, that was funny. Well, that's one road wheel, I think that looks alright. Fairly neat ish. But all looks good, a bit good for the weathering. So that can go up there and dry. See what happens with that by the morning. Put them on there, I shouldn't actually keep my paints there because they're getting warm. They are getting warm. I'm just going to wipe that off. Do a bit of the lovely thinner stuff. I think everyone else used terps or white spirit or whatever you want to call it, but I've always used um, thinners. I suppose that's why I always get through so much. Um, yeah, I was uh, what's to review my compressor right at the beginning it says it's a constant running compressor and I've looked at it today and it is it just I can't see any way to stop it um, it, it is it just well, runs constantly where's my teeth pick gone Runs constantly all the time. So roll all that lot out of it. You probably think this is actually quite boring stuff for you, doesn't it? Let's watch Trigger, not Trigger, James. Sorry, Trigger's my nickname from the old job. Um, and I still call myself Trigger sometimes. That's part of the model. <laughs> I'm trying to take a bit of that aid in the model. Yeah, the dog's going bloody nuts again. That bit of blue tack there was doing nothing. That should be there. So it's come out of there and rolled to there. Ah, oh, lovely stuff. Just what I was going to do. So stick the auxiliary or external fuel tanks on this evening and make up the tow bar. But I was looking
looking also at the fuel tanks. All nice and brown. These bits here, don't know if you can see. Yep, yeah, just these bits here. I should have masked off because they're the bits that need glue. So I've got to somehow, somehow clean them up, and make them stick. If you get down and jump down, biscuit, you're going to get mauled by that bloody dog, aren't you? Can you remove Dear, oh dear. Right. Where's that? Let's see what else I've been using as well. My file. A little file. This little thing is actually, it looked a bit brutal to me, but it's quite fine and it's been actually quite handy. So I've been, um, I have used that a few times. Let's see, scrape that off there. I think that's all that I need. Just scrape that off. If you ever think the bore of videos are boring like this, um, just leave me a note. And like I said with the ISM thing, somewhere up there in the corner. I should have my little logo, but I think that's enough. So I need to have a bit of glue on it to adhere it. Do this one. Check how long we're going. Is that nearly 20 minutes? Is that 17 minutes? I'll keep this one to around 20-25. And when you've got time, you can watch it, can't you? If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. It's quite easy. But, um, yeah. So, I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. Huh? What's done? Um, it sounds like all I watch is Cohen's videos. I suppose a lot of them is the majority of it because I'm watching his Ernst Bergman series at the minute. It's interesting and uh, I need it really more for getting educated. Tanks. Now, is it me sided? Yeah, they are sided. That's all right. That's good because then you can't go wrong. Although I shouldn't say that can't go wrong because as soon as I say something like that, I've jinxed myself from the start. So, I think it's safe for me to stick that in. That's another thing I want to do is, um, I've always used this stuff. And I've noticed a lot of you use it, that Tamiyar thing, got the green lid. Liquid glue. So, um... I might get some of that and give that a go because sometimes just like that as soon as you take that lid off it's pouring out why is it doing that it's like I don't know that's going absolutely everywhere and it ain't stopping my glue tube has got a hemorrhage oh it's still going uh, why is it doing that? Just don't get it on my fingers. Right, put a dot there. And 
off there, put the lid back on it, it's still pouring out. Why is that doing it? I don't think the bigger bottle did it, it's only this smaller one that seems to do it. Cool, that onks as well. So hopefully, I'll hold that there for a few seconds. It will adhere nicely. Let me see what happens. Nothing sticks on them other bits, does it? I'll just notice them. No, doesn't look like it. Yes, it does. And it goes on after. If that has to go on before, I think I've just stuffed myself. No. I think that's right. I think it's one of the tow bars or whatever they are. Right, that's that one. Looking lovely. I think what we at? 21 crossed. I don't know why I took because I'll do it on my phone. It takes forever for these to upload. So what I'll do so boring you to tears. Oh Christ, it's just going everywhere. So boring you to tears. I'll stick this one on. Put that lid on. Have a look at what I'm doing next. And then what I'll do, I'll give you a sneak shot of the MIG because I'm going to have to do an update on that. Pretty soon. We hold that there. We let that set. Because it won't be long once I've done all this. Uh, done the tracks, the wheels, not the tracks, the road wheels. Actually, there's lots to do, so ignore that, what I just said. Because um, I think they've got to be glossed and weathered and all sorts before they go on. I'm not sure. So I watched a uh, Hamilker. Barker's applying mud tips. Actually, this is a desert. I don't want mud on this door. I might just go for the. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look. Get some sand in the wheels or something like that. Put some sand effect in the wheels. That was good. I thought of that. Don't put mud on a desert tank. Well, I think that's almost in there. So that can dry. Hopefully they're dry fine. If not, I'll get a little bit annoyed with it. So we're at 23 minutes. So if I pan this round, there's my Mustang. And they are is the MIG so far and I'm actually starting to really like it because I've done these bits you've got bits of grey there's grey on top you've got the tops of the fins uh, you've got the grey I put the undercarriage on the odd thing I thought I was doing wrong with the front wheel it's offset but it's supposed to be like that. I've got flaps. Oh, not all the flaps. I've still got a couple more of them to go on. But I couldn't put them on because of the rear undercarriage. But um, I've done lots of lots like the rocket pods. They're painted. I'm getting to a stage where all I have to do is master canopy off. And gloss coat the whole thing ready for its decals transfers, decals, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that is that. So, there's another little bit there, but I'll save that for a, another update. I think that would be it from me tonight, on video-wise anyway. 
and I shall see you all again on my next update. So there's the Meg, there was I, and uh, I'll see you again. Ta-ra!